the Speaker of House of Representatives, Abbas Tajudi, bows to pressure, withdrew controversial B on national items and others. This controversial bill, sponsored by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, will definitely call for pressure and attacks as Nigerians review this controversial bill. So guys, let's quickly hear the content of the news. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abbas Tajudi has withdrawn the counter subversion B and other related draft legislations following widespread public concern. The latest decision announced in a press statement released by the Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to the Speaker, Musa Krishi, on Wednesday, was said to have come after extensive consultation with various stakeholders and a careful assessment of the current circumstance of the nation. The counter subversion bill, which was introduced on July 23rd, 2024, sparked public debate and raised concerns about its potential impact on civil liberties. The statement reads, in response to the voice and concern of the people, the Speaker of the House of Representatives Abbas Tajudi has decided to withdraw the counter subversion bill and other related draft legislation. The decision of Tajuddin Abbas to withdraw the bill reflects his commitment to ensuring that the House of Representatives remain a true representation of the people's will. Krishi noted that the withdrawal of the bill underscores Tajuddin's pledge to never support any legislation that could potentially disrupt the peace and unity of the nation. Speaker Abbas Tajudi, a champion of the people's interests, has always prioritized listening to the citizens and fostering unity. His decision reflects his commitment to ensuring that the House remains truly the people's house. He acknowledged the significance of the concerns raised and the attention the bill has garnered, reaffirming that he will never support any action that might disrupt the peace and unity of Nigeria as a nation. The public is hereby notified of the withdrawal of the Cantal Subversion B and other related ones introduced on July 23rd, 2024, he added. The Cantal Subversion B 2024 went viral on social media on Tuesday after it scaled through the first reading and proceeded to the second, where its general principles would be debated on July 23rd as proposed. It aims to impose 
stringent penalties on Nigerians who face to recite the newly approved national item or abuse politicians or community leaders. According to the bill, anyone found guilty shall be fined up to 5 million naira and would face 5 to 10 years imprisonment or both. So guys, how do you see to this matter? This controversial bill sponsored by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas. There is no doubt his bill is actually controversial. That is why the impact on this bill and its implication it has sparked so much reaction from both left and right of every part of the country that it cannot work. There is no doubt this calls for a very serious issues. No wonder Nigerians wonder why Nigerian politicians like making things difficult for the common man, most especially the vulnerable. Come to look at it, reciting the national item. Is that the problem of the nation at the moment? Recall, since the removal of first subsidy by President Bola Tinibu, hunger has been a thing of the, of the moment, whereby many Nigerians can no longer take their three square meal for the day. It's a good thing that the Speaker of the House of Representatives have taken the think that he have to withdraw the controversial bill that anyone, Nigerians, that who could not recite the national item will be fined up to 5 million naira and would face 5 to 10 years imprisonment or both. It is true that even the so-called House of Representative members, the politicians, the governors, the ministers and commissioners that are in corridors of powers, making bills, making laws, they cannot even recite this national item. And the most funniest thing is that if politicians fail this bill and fail to apply to the law, the law will not fall on them, but it will fall on the common man. Because Nigerian politicians are above the law in Nigeria. So, guys, kindly share your thought, your opinion on the comment section below on this matter. And do not forget to like, 